friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you are here today. Hope you are having an amazing day so far. I just made myself a chai tea latte and I'm not sure what's wrong with me because that's just not like me at all. I actually, I think I've maybe tasted it once. I tasted a sip of my sister's chai tea latte and I hated it. But, I don't know, I was just kind of feeling like it today, so see how I like it. I didn't taste it yet. I wanted to wait till I was with you guys to do my first taste test, so let's see how it tastes. Hmm. I gotta say, that's not bad. It could be maybe a little sweeter, but I like it. <laughs> I can see myself drinking this again. I want to try to like find some better drinks than just coffee all the time because I think I drink way too much coffee so yeah that's my reason for drinking this today anyways I don't even know really how to go about this video I just had this idea in my head um, and I just thought it would be fun to do kind of like a sit down chatting video. This past week was my husband and I's anniversary, our second anniversary actually, which is kind of crazy that we've been married for two years now, but um, anyways, it got me thinking that it would be fun to do something um, kind of like related to that or just because of that. Um, I would have loved to have him come on here with me and I thought it would be kind of interesting maybe to like just tell you guys our love story and stuff like that. I never want to like force him to just come on here and do do things that are uncomfortable for him and so I thought I could still do it from my perspective. I just thought it would be fun to just t kind of tell you guys how we met, when we met, just kind of our story. So I'm not even sure how I'm gonna go about this. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, my husband and I actually met when we were like six and seven. Um, we went to school together and also to the same church. Um, but yeah, obviously we wouldn't really have hung out that much. Um, uh, fun fact, he actually has a sister named Caitlin as well. And so we were like in the same grade at school and pretty close friends and stuff like that. So yeah. Our families always kept in touch. Our moms were actually like best friends and so our families would still like hang out a lot like um, we ended up moving like a couple hours away from them but yeah we'd still get together for like weekends and stuff like that and so yeah we pretty much knew each other growing up like and yeah but we never like really talked or had anything to do with each other hardly um he was a little more shy and i guess i was kind of shy too actually um yeah i'd more stick to hanging out with people that i knew good and stuff like that um so yeah that's pretty much like how we met and um then i think when i was like 17 um he just randomly messaged me on Instagram one day and um, anyways we ended up talking for a while and then he actually ended up asking for my number and right away when he messaged me I was like okay he I just like knew right away that he definitely liked me um, because I mean why else would he be talking to me like we never talked we never hung out or anything and so yeah I was kind of scared, like I was kind of unsure of it at first, like I was, okay, for some background to it, I was going through a really, really hard time in my life and <laughs> so yeah, I was, like I did not try to be very friendly to my, I kind of feel bad now, but when we were messaging, I would never try to keep the conversation going and stuff because I just really didn't want him to think that I like him or whatever. Like I just needed to find out how I felt first before giving him any ideas and stuff like that. So I mean I felt kind of, I feel kind of bad now thinking about how like truly unfriendly I was to him. 
but also I would have rather done that than lead him on and then break his heart later on. So yeah, that's kind of the start to it. And we ended up just like um, messaging back and forth occasionally um, for a couple months. And yeah, I kind of slowly just started to fall in love with him. So we kind of just messaged back and forth and talked for about like half a year, I think it was. And then he um, finally asked me out on a date. <laughs> I was like so ready to um, start dating him. But anyways, um, and yeah, I just wanted to tell part of our first date story because I think it's really funny. Um, it was like in April, like mid-April, and somehow there was just this crazy like snow ice storm and it was totally dangerous to be driving but we really wanted to go on our date or we really didn't want to cancel it so he still drove two hours in crazy weather and then he picked me up and we drove an hour to a restaurant to go out for dinner and anyways when as we were trying to leave um so at my parents place right as you come out the lane you have to go up a small hill on the road and his truck four-wheel drive was not working at the time and <laughs> so we were trying to leave and we could not we could not get up that hill for anything and so my dad actually came with his truck and pulled us up the hill so we could go on our date and i just think it's really funny because of course something like that has to happen on a first date but anyways we had a lot of fun and we dated for a whole year and then that is when he um proposed to me and um then six months later is when we got married so that was kind of the timeline of it all we got married on october 26 2019 um it was like the most gorgeous fall day. The fall colors were amazing and yeah, still the best day of my life. But yeah, that's kind of our story. It's nothing super crazy or anything, um, but it's our story, so it's my favorite. And I just had an idea. If you have any um, cool first date stories, I think it would be so interesting to hear them. So, I mean, it literally doesn't have to be anything crazy or embarrassing or whatever. It could just be your first date story. I would be so interested in hearing some of you guys' um, first date stories. So leave them in the comments below so that we can all enjoy them. <laughs> I thought I would finish up the video with just um, putting like a little slideshow of like our wedding pictures in the end so yeah I hope you guys enjoy that I always love seeing other people's wedding photos and I just have like so many that are just on our computer and I don't know just need to be seen so um I'll actually like link um our photographer I'll link her Instagram or if she has a website I'll link that too but um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that she gets all the credit for the photos. She was amazing and yeah, I just love our wedding photos and I just love looking back at them and if you can't tell, I'm a very sentimental person so I just thought it would be kind of interesting to finish out the video with some wedding pictures. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I can't wait to see you next Monday.